The speaker, on behalf of the entire membership of the House of Representatives, offers House Resolution Number 221, a resolution of tribute offered as a memorial for Daisy Elliott, former member of the House of Representatives. Whereas, it is with great sadness that the members of this legislative body learned of the passing of Daisy Elliott. She will be remembered for her commitment to equal rights and making Michigan a better place for all of its residents, including her constituents in Detroit for whom she tirelessly advocated. And whereas, even before her election to the House of Representatives in 1962, Daisy Elliott fought to improve the lives of Michigan residents. After working in factories, real estate, and with the Secretary of State, she was elected as a delegate to the 1961-62 Constitutional Convention. While serving as a delegate, Daisy Elliott championed the establishment of the Civil Rights Commission and an appellate court in the state constitution. And whereas, during her 18 years in the House of Representatives, Daisy Elliott sponsored dozens of bills that became law and was known for her dogged efforts to fight discrimination in the state. Her crowning achievement was co-authorship of the landmark Civil Rights Act which bears her name, the Elliott Larson Civil Rights Act of 1976. It was one of the most sweeping and influential policies of its kind in the entire nation. And whereas Daisy Elliott was known for her leadership abilities and political acumen and earned numerous awards for public service during her lifetime. She was instrumental in the creation of the Legislative Black Caucus and provided a voice for her constituents on numerous committees during her time in the House of Representatives, most notably the colleges and universities, constitutional revision and women's rights, education, and labor committees. And whereas Daisy Elliott was a remarkable public servant who worked relentlessly for the betterment of the state and advocated strongly on behalf of workers, senior citizens, women, and minorities who sought equal treatment in Michigan. Upon her passing, we offer our condolences to her family and friends. We hope that, we, that they may find comfort in the knowledge that the community as a whole shares in their bereavement and that the legacy of Daisy Elliott's contributions will continue to enhance our state long into the future. Now, therefore, it be resolved by the House of Representatives that we offer this expression of our highest tribute to honor the memory of Daisy Elliott, a member of this legislative body from 1963 to 1978 and 1981 to 1982. It be further resolved that copies of this resolution be transmitted to the Elliott family as evidence of our lasting esteem for her memory. All members in favor of the resolution will please rise. The resolution is adopted. The chair recognizes Representative Banks. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Colleagues, we have several members of former Representative Daisy Elliott's family here with us on today on the House floor. We have her granddaughter, uh, Mrs. Sabri. We have her great granddaughter, my former law school classmate, uh, Aaliyah Sabri. And we want to extend this time to thank her family for lending Daisy Elliott to our state and to this legislative body when we look at the contributions that Representative Elliott contributed to be a co-sponsor of the Elliott Larson Law and Bill, that's something we all can be proud of to ensure everyone had equal rights. We thank God for Representative Elliott and her work and her contributions, myself and my colleagues from Detroit, as well as Representative Stallworth. And we just want to say to the family, you will be in our thoughts and our prayers, and we thank God for the contributions that Representative Elliott gave to this body and to our state to make our state a better place to live, work, and play. Thank you, Representative Banks. And, and to the family members here, uh, please accept uh, our gratitude and condolences. Uh, we, we thank you for the, for the service, uh, not only to this body, but also to all the people of the state of Michigan. Thank you for being here today.